Hi guys, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be setting up for the month of June in my budget planners. I have here in front of me my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, which I use just to sum up my budget pretty much for my own personal use. I don't show this planner too much here on my channel, but I did do a little bit of setting up in here that I wanted to share with you. Um, I also have my big size happy planner here. This is not the classic, this is the big size. So this fits um, a full size sheet of like notebook paper, eight and a half by 11. And this is where I keep the budgeting sheets that I show you guys every single week when I do my budget videos. So we're gonna set both of these planners up today. I'm gonna show you how I get everything set up for a new month. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna talk about this planner first. This, like I said, it's a big size happy planner. The one that I have, I know that these have names, but I don't know the name of this one. This is the one that came with this cover here. It says, Hello 2020. I actually have the cover on backwards because I like the stripes a little bit better. Um, I purchased this planner from Michaels, I believe. They also carry them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them from meandmybigideas.com, I think, the Happy Planner brand. Um, they're very readily available. This planner came with regular um, like plastic discs. They look like this, just typical smaller plastic disc. I knew that I was going to be packing a ton of pages in here, so I actually switched them out for these um, expander discs, and these are the metal ones in the gold. And I think that the gold and the black and white stripe looks so cute together. So what do I have in this planner? Well, at the front of this planner, it is just your typical planner pages, except that I have pulled out all of the weekly layouts and instead have added in some of these daily pages. I've been trying out daily planning. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys would be interested in seeing a plan with me video in this kind of daily planning style, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Um, in addition to this planner, I'm also going to be using an Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner for my weekly plans, which starts in July. So lots of planners. I am the type of person that loves to write things down. I thrive on routine and scheduling. So I have lots of planners. It's fun to kind of work with different stickers and markers and it's just sort of how I am in life. So I have um, my daily planning pages in the front. Each month gets a little divider. And then um, I have actually glued together one of the weekly pages to it that has like this little um, notes page here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's sort of like a little dashboard. So this will be like my monthly overview. Um, and then I have my weekly pages, but that's not why you guys are here. You guys are here to see the budget. So behind all of these planning pages in the back of this book are my budgeting pages. So these are the pages that I use to figure out my budget every single week here on my channel. You guys see those videos on Fridays. So I just finished up my May budget and now we are moving into June. So I printed out all of the pages that I need for June here. These pages come from the Budget Mom. I purchased the Budget by Paycheck workbook in the printable version from her. And I just print out the pages that I need every single month and put them right here into my planner. And it's how I work out my budgets every single week. It's a phenomenal resource. I highly recommend it. It was really affordable. I can print out these pages as many times as I need to. So I can use this planner for the next 10 years if that's what I want. So it was a great value. Um, and I just go through, I open up the file in my PDF viewer and I 
just go through and select the pages that I want to print. I don't print them all. Um, there are some pages that she has available in the workbook that I just don't use, so I don't feel the need to um, print those pages, obviously, because it would just be a waste for me. So I just select the pages that I will use, which are the paycheck bill tracker and the cash envelope breakdown, and I print out one of each of these for each paycheck that I have in the month. So in June, there's five paychecks. So I have five sets of paycheck bill trackers and five sets of cash envelope breakdown pages, plus a couple of little dividing pages to keep everything in order. And I print these on, actually brought my package of paper in here to show you guys, because some of you have asked me what, I, what paper I use. So this is from Staples. I bought this in store. It's 500 sheets, so it's gonna last me a really long time. It's just letter size paper, of course, eight and a half by 11. It is for inkjet and laser printers. So I have an inkjet printer, but if you have a laser printer, you can use this paper as well. And this is 28 pound paper. So it's a little bit thicker than just your run of the mill, like printer paper that you buy at Walmart or whatever. Um, it's 98 is the brightness. So it's really bright white, really beautiful. It's very smooth. I like this paper a lot. Highly recommend though, whatever kind of paper you buy, get the 28 pound because it's got a nice weight to it. Your pens don't shadow um, and it works out really nice for this. So that is the paper I use. I print out the pages that I need and then I just need to punch them to put them in my planner. So you can get a punch from this Happy Planner brand. It is pink, the one that is this size. They have a classic size and then they have a big size um, paper punch. And the one that is for this big size that punches for this many discs um, is pink. And it's really cute and everything, but you can only punch one page at a time. And so it can be very, very tedious. So, and you also can't print things that are laminated or cardstock or things that are thicker. That punch just isn't capable of doing that. So the punch that I purchased to use, oops, I got the windows open and stuff's blowing everywhere. The punch that I use is this Big Daddy punch from ARC. The ARC system of planning has a very similar binding system to the Happy Planner. And so anything that you purchase um, that is made for the ARC planning system will work with the Happy Planner. So I purchased this punch from Amazon. It wasn't super cheap, but it's very handy. It's got a ton of different settings. You can print um, or you can punch pages that are in the A5 size, in letter size, which is what I'll be using today, A4, so on. Um, it's just a really great heavy duty punch. It's humongous, so it takes up some space in your office, but it works out great for this. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my pages here and make sure they're all in order and that I haven't missed anything and then I'm going to punch them. So I just have a little dividing page here and then I have um, this little quote page. It says, when you think your money, when you think about your money, it should be with confidence and comfort, not with fear or uncertainty. That's a budget mom quote. And I just love the design of this planner. It's got such pretty details. So then it goes right into the weekly pages. I don't print the monthly page because I actually keep track of my monthly bills um, and my transactions in this planner, which you guys will see next. So it just goes right into the bill tracker. So this is where I write out my budget every single week. You guys see those videos on Fridays. I figure out my bills, my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, etc. I break down the cash that I need using the breakdown and it's a great system. Love, love, love the Budget Mom Budget My Paycheck Workbook. So this is gonna be paycheck one, <coughs> paycheck two, paycheck three, paycheck four, and paycheck five. So I have enough pages to cover all of my paychecks for the week or for the month of June. And I'm just going to kind of straighten these out I believe with this arc punch, you can punch up to 10 sheets at a time. Usually I break these down 
and kind of punch them half and half, but I wanna give this a test and see if I can punch all of these pages at once. Hopefully I don't regret this. So you just stick these in here. Ooh, it's tight. Maybe I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna overload it. This is heavier duty paper. So I just stick this in here, punch, and it's all set to go into my planner. And I'm just gonna punch these other ones. Make sure that it's deep, that it's really in there so you're not um, missing any pages. And there we go. So those are my pages punched, easy peasy. And now I can just get them into my happy planner. And you can use any sort of binding system that you want. If you're into like a three ring binder, you can use that. You can resize these pages um, in your little printing software and put them in a smaller book. I like the large size of this happy planner because I'm able to um, fit everything in. I don't have to write really, really small and I don't have to do any resizing of the pages. They fit perfectly just as they are, so get these pages in and I am all set for June in terms of that. So after that I have my Saveopoly here in my binder. If you're not familiar with Saveopoly, I've talked about this in quite a few of my videos. This is just a fun savings challenge. So when I'm doing my budget every week, I am saving money for sinking funds, which are um, different expenses that I know that are coming up throughout the year that I want to save for. But in addition to that, I'm also just saving for the sake of saving. So it's a rainy day fund or it's just extra savings that I have tucked away for whatever I decide to use it for. And the way that I get the amount that I'm going to save each week is through Saveopoly. I very easily could just decide, okay, I'm going to save $25 a week and I could robotically save $25 every week for the whole year and it would add up and it would be fine. But this is so much more fun. So I purchased this printable from MotherMeAndI.com. I think I've been saying me, mother, and I.com in all of my videos. Oops. It's MotherMeAndI.com. It was like a $3 printable. I have it downloaded now so I can print this again as many times as I want. I love printables for that. And this is just a fun way to save money. So you go around the board every week, whatever spot you land on, that, well, that property corresponds with an amount of money that you save. You can do this every single week. What I like to do is at the beginning of the month, I do all of my rolling for the entire month. Just that way I have a plan ahead of time for how much I'm going to save each week in the month. I like to be prepared in that way. So I'm going to do my rolling here on camera. I did this last month and some of you seem to appreciate this. So I'm gonna do that here today, but first I need to figure out what I did with my phone because that is what I use to roll my dice. Be right back. All right, you guys, so I have my phone here. Um, I just have a Samsung A20. It's super affordable phone but in case you were interested in that information. Um, and I just go here on my little homepage and I click this free dice roller. I don't know how well you can see it because of my background, but that is the app. It was free. It's a very, doesn't take up a ton of space on my phone. I like it just fine. You open it up and you select how many dice that you want, which I always roll two. And then it just brings up the dice and you can roll. So when I last, left off here. I just write down the space that I left off on using my little pen. That helps me keep track of where I was. So I just have to figure it out now. Where was I? Okay, so I was on, I was in this go to jail space the last time I rolled. So this is where I'm gonna start out today and I'm going to roll for the first week. So 10, so I'm going to Go 10 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to save a dollar. I do not save extra money when I pass go, I only save this money when I land on go. So in this, in some people's cases you might decide 
when you pass go to save this $25. So in your case, you would save 26. But in my case, we're just gonna save $1, which doesn't really seem worth it, but every little bit adds up. So I just come up here to this top section where these boxes are and I have given each of these a date and I just um, write down how much money I'm going to save. So we're going to save $1. And I also write down what number I rolled just for shits and giggles, I guess. All right, so now we're gonna roll for the second week. And that's seven. Oh, I need to mark down here that I rolled this for six, one. Okay, so we're gonna go seven. One, two, can you guys see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for the second week of June, we're going to save $22. And then we roll again for the third week. This goes really quick. I don't have to even think about it usually when I'm not filming it, so. Um, we're gonna go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna save $28 for the week of the 15th. And then we'll go three, one, two, three. And the week of the 22nd, we will save $19. And then for the last week, because there are five paychecks in the month of June, we rolled an eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look at that, we ended up right back at go to jail again where we started. And I don't follow this, I don't then go to jail, I just stay here. You can do it any way you want. I think she has actual rules on the page where you can purchase this printable, but I just do my own thing and it works out just fine. So for the first week in June, we're gonna save a dollar. For the second week, we're gonna save $22. For the third week in June, we're gonna save $28. Fourth, we'll save 19. And the fifth, we'll save 20. And I'm just gonna add that up really quick and figure out what my savings is gonna be for the month of June. $90 we will save in June just through this and that's great because I don't have a specific goal in mind for this. I don't have a specific plan for this money. It's just extra savings. Um, last month I needed a new blender so I pulled that out of my Saveopoly fund. It's just for whatever I want. So that takes care of that for the month. And then the last thing in this planner that we are going to add in for the month of June is this credit card. Um, chart. So this is from debtfreecharts.com. I downloaded this for free, printed it out, used that same arc punch to punch it, and I have filled in all of the numbers on the side because in May I was able to pay off the next lowest credit card in um, my list, and so I used the debt snowball method to pay off my debt. So we are Moving towards a new credit card for the month of June, I will not pay this entire card off in June, but since we're starting this out in June, I decided to go ahead and print this out. So the next credit card in my list is my Capital One card. Um, it had a balance of $2,132.82 when I started out paying for it, so I just, um, took that number and divided it by 50 since there's 50 um, lines here and figured out what each of these lines was going to be worth, wrote the totals along the bottom, and I will just color this in the end of the month with how much I managed to pay off in the month of June. If you guys are interested in this sort of chart to help you keep track of your debt payoff or your other financial goals, you can go to debtfreecharts.com to check it out. So that is it for this planner. This is all set up, ready for the month of June, ready for my budget videos. Typically that would be the end of my video, but in May I started a new planner. 
I have been watching so many budget videos here on YouTube over the years and this planner seems to be by far the one that is the most popular with um, people that make budget videos. This is the Deluxe Monthly Planner from Erin Condren. I believe in the month of June she's releasing a new design for the monthly planner. Um, I have last year's model essentially so she'll be coming out with a new one. I will link down below the Erin Condren website where you can purchase this planner. Um, like I said it won't be this exact design. It'll be a little bit different but um, I also will have a link that'll get you $10 off your first order if you click the link and you sign up for an account with Erin Condren it will then email you a coupon code for $10 off your first purchase. And if you use my link, I get $10 as well towards my Erin Condren purchases. So I'd love it if you would check that out if you're interested in getting a planner like this. But essentially this planner is a monthly planner. So you have a dashboard page. And again, the new design will look a little bit different, but it's gonna be, I think, a basic, um, the same basic structure. So you get a dashboard page, you get a monthly layout, and this is where I track my bills and my transactions throughout the week, which I'll show you guys in June. Um, and then it comes with some empty notes pages. So it's a really handy um, resource. This paper is super thick and luxurious. Um, the designs are always so fun and pretty. Erin Condren has the most beautiful planners. They're pricey, but they're very high quality. The coil is super sturdy and amazing. I highly recommend it. So I thought I would show you what I set up in my June layout. So this is essentially just for me. I fill this out um, throughout the month and I help keep track of everything and it helps me to sort of compare month to month how I'm doing. So while I have this planner and this is where I write out the nitty gritty budgets and figure everything out, I then transfer this information into this planner where it's nice and neat and pretty. Um, it's already, everything's already figured out so I don't have to worry about math errors and whatever. And so this essentially is just for me. I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I love paper planners. I love writing things down using different stickers and pens and things. So this is just fun for me. So I thought I'd show you what I set up in here. I was gonna set this up on camera, but while I was waiting to film this video this morning, everybody in my neighborhood was cutting the grass. So while I was waiting for that to finish and for things to quiet down a little bit, I went ahead and did this and I thought I would just flip through it really quick. This video is already pretty long. So this is that dashboard spread. This is what it looks like before I got my hands on it. And then I sort of put my own spin on it. So I made all of these stickers here myself using my silhouette. Um, and this is just how I'm going to keep track of various things in my budget. So on this page, I have my sinking funds. This page, as you saw, is just a little bit of white space um, in front of this kaleidoscope pattern. I needed a little bit more space, so I just glued in a piece of graph paper. Actually, I printed out um, this graph design on a piece of sticker paper and cut it out and laid it down. It's crooked, but that's okay. It's still functional. And I just put my little header here and wrote out all of my sinking funds that I currently have. These are all of the things I'm saving for. And I'm going to sit down after I'm done filming this video and write in the amounts that I currently have in each sinking fund. Um, and then at the end of the month, I'll write in what I added to the sinking fund, what I took away and what the new total is. And that's just how I keep track of it without having to physically go into my accordion folder here where I keep track of or where I store all of my sinking funds and actually physically having to count the money. I can just at a glance see what I have and how much I've saved. So then this next page is sort of my budget overview. So I will write in all of my debt totals. My husband and I are on a debt-free journey trying to pay off 
our debt, so I will write down the various credit card accounts that we have and other areas where we carry debt, like our truck total, for example. Um, and this will help me just keep track of how much debt we have, and then I can compare month to month and see how much debt we paid off over the course of the month. In this section, I have my goals. So I've already written out my goals for June. So my goals are to put at least $400 into our sinking funds. I want to make at least $500 in extra debt payments through our debt snowball. And I want to lower my grocery spending because my grocery budget has been out of control. So those are my goals for June. We'll see at the end of the month if I manage to hit them. Um, this next little area here, I have a spot for my credit score. I use Credit Karma to keep track of our credit score. Um, I just like to see as I'm paying my debt down, I like to see my credit score go up. So I just have a spot to write my credit score and my husband's credit score. And we just like to compare it month to month. And then here at the bottom, I have my budget summary. So this is where I'm going to write the total amount of income we brought in in June our bills and expenses for June, how much we put towards sinking funds, how much we put towards extra debt, and how much we put towards extra savings. And that will just, hopefully we will see that the income minus all of these other things um, evens out and we're not over budget in any way, shape or form. So that's that. And then we turn to the monthly page where I have put in all of our bills and expenses. I made all of these stickers myself as well. So um, I have just marked down my paydays. Everything on this blue sticker, you guys can sort of see my key here. I can zoom you in a little bit, I suppose. Um, you can see my key here. The blue is for bills. These, this darker pink is for debt. Um, this really light kind of peachy pink color is gas. This purpley color is groceries. I made these stickers and gas and grocery are actually very, very similar in color. So when I make more, I'll probably change those colors up a little bit, but for now they're fine. Um, anything in yellow is going to be eating out and then anything in green will be miscellaneous expenses. Anything that doesn't fit into those categories. And so I put all of my bills in, in blue, as well as all of my debt payments in red. Um, we have quite a few debts, but we are actively working towards paying those off, like I said. I marked in all of our paydays. Um, and then as we spend money throughout the month, I put these stickers in here so I could give you guys an example of how it will look. Um, we will just put these stickers down and write in the totals. So on Tuesdays is typically when I go and pick up my groceries and when I put gas in my car. So I will just stick down the little purple sticker and write in the grocery store that we went to, as well as the amount that we spent. And this just helps me keep track of how much money I am spending on a day-to-day -day basis. I can see where I'm overspending, where I'm right on track, and it just helps me to keep track of everything. It's a lot of fun. I really, really like this spread. This is probably my favorite part of this planner. So let me zoom you guys back out now. And then after that, we move into the paycheck budgeting. So again, I do my nitty gritty budgeting here in this planner. And then I just copy everything down here with what actually was spent. So while this happy planner has my budget, so how much I intend to spend, this planner is more of like a summary of what I did spend. So only true totals go in here. I hope that makes sense. This is unnecessary. It's just extra. It's fun. It's pretty. You don't absolutely don't have to do something like this. This is just me being extra. So I have paycheck one, paycheck two, paycheck three, paycheck four, and paycheck five. So I will put the income amounts up here above this little line and then all of the spending will go below. I may do something different in upcoming months. Maybe I won't break it down by paycheck. Maybe I will break it down in some other way. We'll see as the year progresses. But that is a look at my budget planner in my Erin Condren. I love, love, love this planner. And just in case you're interested in the rest of the planner, like I said, the new design will be a little bit different, but all every month is the same. It just has a different color scheme. 
as you can see after the months you move into a let's see so this is the end of December and then you move into a calendar for the upcoming year just like a calendar at a glance and then you have a notes section that has empty notes pages in the back and this is where I keep track of anything outside of my typical budget so you guys saw a video on my um, stimulus budget I'll link that down below if you missed that this is how we spent our um, stimulus money from the government and then after that you have some stickers I love these stickers I think they're so fun and then you have a pocket folder where I just keep all of my extra stickers that I have made um, I already have my July stickers prepared for next month and more stickers in the back. These are all of my budgeting stickers that I've made for myself, as well as the ones from Sarah Marie stickers. So lots and lots of stickers. So that is it, you guys, for my video. It was longer than I intended it to be. I did not expect that I would talk this long. It's gonna be a bear to edit, but I hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it. I will link every single thing that I talked about in this video down below, all the planners, the accordion folder, my punch, um, the paper that I use if I can find it on a website for you to purchase or something similar. Um, so yeah, lots of resources in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second and go down there and click that like button so that I know. And if you would like to see more videos like this, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. So. I will see you guys on Wednesday for a grocery haul. And until then, take care. Bye.